be like, what? What are you talking about? I paid eighty thousand dollars for this 4TX 4090. What do you mean it's as good as a 5070 that's only five hundred dollars? Like I will shoot you now. So, so <laughs> that's one of those things. But yeah, NVIDIA DLSS 4.0. There have been some changes, some updates to <laughs> everything that happened on Monday that I wasn't privy to because I fell asleep. I just, I couldn't, bro. Like I had made like four videos that day and I was just, I was done. I was absolutely done. Plus I got sick. So it is what it is, but okay. DLSS 4.0. So we reviewed that. We talked about DLSS 4.0 and then also with the trailer. So let me see if I can actually pull that up. Yeah. Alrighty. So... All right, cool. So I made a review about DLSS 4.0, but this was based off my knowledge of what was going on right then and there. Oh, I'm so excited. This is actually pretty cool. So, so with the DLSS 4.0, they have made some changes to AI to essentially make it so that instead of every other frame being frame generated, which is DLSS 3.0, basically they're making three additional frames on top of the original rendered frame. So essentially is AI, 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 <laughs> real frame, AI, 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 real frame kind of thing. So, so with DLSS 4.0, it's not exactly an upgrade. It's an upgrade to frame rate, but you're still stuck to the exact, uh, let's say FPS of the real screen, right? So let's say, okay, let's say you have 30 frames per second real. And then you run DLSS 3.0 and it gives you 60, 90, 120 or whatever. So now you're at 120 frames per second because you've basically multiplied it by three, essentially. So let's say you're, you're really supposed to have 120 frames per second because you have DLSS 3.0. Well, it's not gonna feel that way. It's gonna feel like 30, right? Because that's, that's what the real frame is. So DLSS is great when you are already at 100. You know what I mean? When you're already at 110, 115, you know what I mean? Where it's, you know, you just wanted to have a bit smoother gameplay, you know, and it already is above 60 or it's already above 100. That's when it kind of shows itself. But, you know, this isn't, you know, DLSS 4.0, I mean, I could be wrong because I don't know exactly what it's going to do and how it's going to change things, but I like DLSS, DLSS, DLSS. I've had it enabled on a lot of different things, on a lot of things, particularly Call of Duty. Any of these really intensive games, I usually have that enabled. And even though I run an RTX 4090, I still use it. So, I, I mean, I'm cool with it having that feature, but I'm also would rather just know how strong is it compared to a 4090 so we can just move on with our lives, right? I'm going to guess 10 to 15%. And that's just not as attractive as saying, oh, it's as good as a 4070. So it's it's one of those things, or I'm sorry, so it's as good as a 5070, 50, that being the 4090. So that's a little bit more attractive because people will be like, what, what are you talking about? I paid $80,000 for this 4TX 4090. What do you mean it's as good as a 5070 that's only $500? Like I will shoot you now. So, so <laughs> that's one of those things. And people will get upset about that. So, so I mean, I, obviously I don't mean like literally, but, but but yeah, it's one of those kind of things that happened with it. So bear that in mind, but the, uh, they did release another uh, trailer about DLSS and we can go ahead and take a look at that right now. I wouldn't be playing a game. I'll just be looking around be like. <laughs> okay, for one, that looks really amazing. So I'm not gonna lie. So, I mean, but this is just RTX. That's not really talking about DLSS. This is talking about just turning on RTX. But RTX, of course, kills your frame rate. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing they're trying to use DLSS to give you back the frame rate that you lost, which, you know, I mean, that is one way of going about it. But, but it, you know, I mean, it looks, it looks absolutely gorgeous. You know, I don't, I don't know. I, I think with me, okay. At what point does beauty in and gameplay begin? You know what I mean? Like I've played a lot of games that were absolutely beautiful, but it wasn't really because of how beautiful the graphics were. It was just because of the scenery that made it beautiful. You know what I mean? And so like you think about like Senua. Senua, when it first came out, the first one, because I haven't played the second one yet, but when it first came out, it was gorgeous. It was absolutely gorgeous. And the worlds were so weird and different. And so when I think about that, I think that it was, yeah, it was beautiful, but it was beautiful on a 3060. Like it was just a beautiful game in general. So, so, you know, it's something like this and it's like, you're looking at it and it's like, okay, is it beautiful? It's absolutely gorgeous, right? But if the game is trash, it's not gonna matter. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, I'm just trying to figure out like how far are we gonna push that line? You know what I mean? Because now we're talking about AI, AI, AI in order to fix RTX, RTX, RTX and, and turning on ray tracing, ray tracing, ray tracing. And it's like, 
I get that you're trying to make it more beautiful, but at what point should you just stop that and go for frame rate? You know, like true frame rate, like raw frame rate. So, you know, I just, I don't know how far, how many steps they're gonna take past that line of beauty before they start stumbling over frame rate and true gameplay. You know what I mean? I think they're starting to stumble over themselves because if you're talking about three frames, four frames, five frames in the future, and you're trying to guess it, why? You know what I mean? When you could have just made a car that is literally superior to everything. You know what I mean? So I think that it's still probably superior. It's just that I think that DLSS may be a little bit too much in the future, but you know, we will see. I do like what it did to the marble. So, you know, that's a thing. But at the same time, you know, if the game is great, I'm going to play it regardless. So, so I don't, like, I'll play it on a, on a, on a Game Boy Advance. Like, bro, I don't care. Like, what are we doing? So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about DLSS. I'm kind of a little torn about it because I like how good it is when it comes to frame rate, but I still notice, you know what I mean? It still doesn't feel as good as, you know, 120 frames per second uh, playing like Overwatch with Moira. You know what I mean? Like, like, it, like that feels a certain type of way. And if it changes because DLSS is turned on, it kind of, I notice it, you know what I mean? But yeah, DLSS 4.0, NVIDIA, let's go.